Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to, well, it's, uh, it's actually the Hall of Flames today, isn't it? We're, of course, doing our level 56 summoner quest, and Grunty is looking a lot more magey than usual. I don't know, I feel kind of uncomfortable in all the, the heavy roads and the, and the pointy hat and all that. I don't really play mage as much, but when I do in, like, RPGs and stuff, I'm normally, you know, like a spell sword or a battle mage or something like that. Uh, or I'm just wearing, like, regular people clothes. So, I don't know, I'm never, yeah, I'm not, not big into Rogue Glamour, that's neither here nor there though. Uh, Dancing Wolf, um, I haven't seen the results yet on, on whether you, what you guys think of the whole body hair situation. Um, but, uh, what do we got? Try Disaster. Oh, shit. Holy shit. That is... Wow. Okay. <laughs> You guys can tell how little I know about Heaven's Ward Sumner, given that we're, what, we're already, we're nearly at 3.4 when I'm recording this, and I'm surprised when I look at the, the descriptions for new spells. <laughs> oh, god damn. I can see why you guys wanted me to play Sumner. Uh, Dancing Wolf is ready to go on the offensive. So, uh, reminder for uh, anyone who's, who's just joining us. Um, we are hunting after someone who looks suspiciously like Tristan, uh, the, the summoner whom we defeated at the end of the ARR, uh, summoner quest line. And, uh, he's been going around stealing crystal caches, so we're suspecting that he's planning to do some, uh, some horrible primal stuff. Anyway, Wolfie? Greetings, Grunty. I hope you're prepared to take action. Mate, I'm always prepared on the Warrior of Light. I don't know if you heard. Ever since we increased our presence on the trade routes, our black-robed villain has ceased his attacks. Now it is our turn to go on the offensive. With the blessing of my superiors, I've arranged for a lightly guarded shipment of crystals with which we will lure Tristan into an ambush. And I want you there when we spring the trap. I've already sent word to Yamitra and she will meet us in Camp Blue Fog. Let us bring an end to this, Grunty. Alright. That suits me just fine. Um, now this is a bit of a tangent, but... Oh, do they just stop? Do the fireworks just stop? As soon as I'm about to start talking about the fireworks, the fireworks stop. Damn it. <laughs> well, it is, as we know, uh, in the middle of the Rising event. And for those of you who don't know, the Rising... It's basically like the holiday equivalent of the Hiroshima Peace Park, I guess, in a, in a weird way, if that makes sense. Uh, basically, we're, we're celebrating the anniversary of Meteor, but in a way of how it sort of represents the, uh, the rebirth of the realm. It's sort of a meta way to celebrate uh, ARR uh, taking over the sinking ship and, uh, and Yoshi P jumping on board. Um, but it's always seemed really weird to me that we celebrate the rising with fireworks and with I'm, I'm trying to look for fireworks but it seems that they have stopped for the moment and all of this uh, like a meteor shaped paraphernalia that has that you know the typical like ARR symbol of the of the meteor it's really really weird to me I can't help but feel like it's um I don't know that people would have like PTSD when they see stuff like that it's like hey uh come get your your atom bomb t-shirt Come get your... <laughs> Wait, what am I... What? We've been talking about... I, w I was thinking of Yamitra and come to Grudani for some stupid reason. Yeah, come get your Atom Bomb t-shirt. Come get your... Uh, you know, your Mushroom Cloud mug. Is it just me? Is it just me? Or is there something like really macabre and sinister about the way we celebrate the Rising? I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a, a cynical asshole. And, uh, wow. Our tangent took a took a tangent. I, I <laughs> soon as I as soon as I get scattered, I'm truly lost. You guys, we've been waiting for you, Grunty. Let us put Captain Wolf's plan to action. I can't do two things at once. I can't like talk and and focus on objectives. Grunty, you're here. Good. Our crystal couriers have just left the camp. So basically, I'm like the worst kind of person for a, for a let's player, but. Uh, yeah, oh well. The plan is simple. The caravan will head towards the processing plant, 
but conveniently break an axle before reaching the East Watchtower. We three will take up separate positions nearby and wait for Tristan to take the bait. I've heard the driver complaining long and loudly about the lack of a suitable escort for his precious cargo, so we can be reasonably sure that an attack will come. I trust you need no further explanations. Head to your assigned position and do your best to keep out of sight. I don't know, that might be a little bit difficult. This whole robe and hat deal is kind of ostentatious. Also, am I the only one who's bothered by the fact that these are from the same set? They're from the Orthodox casting set. And the Orthodox casters feel like they need both a hat and a hood? I don't know. It just seems like at least one of those is redundant, right? Anyway. As I was saying, um, it's it's always been painfully aware to me that I, I don't seem to have the the qualities of a... Why are we getting that? Is that normally here in the BGM? I, can always, I always have my BGM off. I didn't realize that this track was... Uh, anyway, you made sure. What's the plan? You thought a myth? This tree is hardly big enough to conceal the both of us. You're hiding behind a tree? Alright. That's... <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> and I'm just going to hide over here in plain sight, am I? In the shrubbery. Yeah, so when I'm doing Let's Play stuff, I feel like it's sheer, sheer force of will for me to go against my, uh, my instincts and do more than one thing at once. Oh, it burns! It burns! Well, that's an Asian. Hey, buddy. You are, you alright? It's still burning? Alright. Um, hold that thought, uh, Asian dude. I just need a second here to, uh... Yeah, just just hang on. Just hold that thought. I'll be right with you. All right, we got that one. And let's put this down. That'll be quite helpful. All right, there we go. There we go. Ebonclad Summoner. Thanks, uh, Mike Wee. <laughs> that was very generous of you. Uh, let us... Bane... Let us do that one, and then maybe one of these ones. Uh, if Reed Eggy's already down, all right, that suits me just fine. Okay, let's refresh our dots. I was expecting him to put up a little bit more of a fight than this for some reason. Okay, all right. This guy. Look at this fucking sweetheart. Oh, that's so funny. Um, all right. Okay. Oh, and the Asian's already gone. Uh, because I was about to say, I really wish... This might sound weird, but for, for like a machinima-like project, I've entertained the idea of doing. And this is going to be the first... It, literally anyone is hearing of this. It's something that may or may not happen uh, at some point. Um, I'd really like to be able to to glamour an uh, an Asian Asian robe. I wonder if that'll ever be a cash shop thing, or whether that'll just like ruin people's immersion even more than wearing the Scion gear. I don't know. I think it could be kind of fun having people RP as as Asians. Talk to me, soldier. Oh, I'll live, Captain. He popped right out of thin air. Took me by surprise. The same happened to me. Another man in dark robes stepped through some manner of portal and assailed me with spells. Hmm. My position also came under attack. An underling judged him by the ease with which I dispatched him. And I've never before seen such teleportation magics. No. It cannot be. You know this man, Captain Wolf. This is Caden. Tristan's brother, but how? He was tempered, slain. 
And now both siblings have disappointed me. Ugh, I should exercise more care in choosing my pawns. An Athian? That voice! You're the one who taught Tristan the art of summoning. Have you come to inflict yet more misery upon the world? Tristan? Yes, that was the other's name. I'd hoped to groom him, granted him the knowledge of Alec's mages that he might unleash his wrath against the primals. Alas, he was all too easily vanquished. No matter. The Bringer of Light has proven a more than adequate replacement for my failed God Slayer. With every primal you kill, the beastman's further grows ever hotter. We need but supply the tribes with crystals and watch as they summon ever more terrible deities. When the confluence of chaos reaches its peak, the world shall be small. He was disappearing in the middle of that sentence. I didn't hear the, the rest of it. He's gone. He sounds a little bit like you, Dancing Wolf. You ever notice that? And we should be gone as well. I shall see that my soldier is treated for his wounds and await you outside the Hall of Flames. Hmm. Well, we know that the Black Mast uh, Asians are quite, uh, quite minor. Well, I don't, I don't know if they're like that minor, but they're definitely below people like La Habre and Olympus and uh, and Nabriales, who I consider, you know, the sort of elder, the elder Asians. Um, and I'm pretty sure Elidibus is in fact the voice of the father, but uh, that's a story for another time. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess they possess people, you know, in the same way that La Habrea possessed uh, our good friend, our pretty blonde friend. And uh, yeah, seems they can animate the dead. Who knew? Well, I mean, we all knew, let's be real. Once again, a paragon lurks behind the curtain, pulling the strings. I still have suspected. Yeah, Yamitri, it's literally always, it is literally always Asians. <laughs> I believe some reassessment is in order. We now know that the black robe menace we thought to be Tristan was actually his brother Caden, a reanimated puppet under the control of an Asian. Both brothers were present at Afrit's defeat. So Caden's aura too would have been stained with the Primal's essence, which if I understand it correctly, would explain his ability to command the Eggy. Oh, okay, so that's why he's been targeted. All right, oh, that makes sense. But for that Asian to raise the lad's corpse and press him into service as his pet summoner, I shall see the blackguard suffer for his cruel depravity. And again, this is more evidence, uh, I suppose, in a way for uh, the Palace of the Dead being an Asian ploy. Aye, the Paragon has many crimes for too much answer, but we must move with great caution. The power of these immortals is not to be underestimated. You may try, I don't think that that one in particular is immortal. Not even in the way that, that uh, Nabriales was supposedly immortal and still got wrecked. Grunty, I have uncovered yet another spell of summoning magic, the casting of which would drive a lesser maid to his knees. What do you mean? <laughs> are you are you implying that um, that if I offer lesser mages the means to cast try a disaster, they're going to get on their knees for me? Is that what you're saying? Because uh, I can get behind that. After the battle you fought, however, I believe you're strong enough to wield it. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. I will return to Gridania and redouble my efforts to decipher the remaining tone stones. We cannot face an Athian unprepared. Why does Yumitra keep going back to Gridania? I mean, she's a Charlene, she's not a Gridanian citizen. I would have thought that by now she'd uh, be wanting to head into, into Idleshire. Anyway, maybe she will at some point, who knows. Anyway, try disaster, holy shit. Holy shit. Where am I going to put that? Because that is... That is insanity. Um, let us put that on mouse three. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. 60 second recast as well, that's pretty good. Okay, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll froth over Tri Disaster in my own time, 
uh, running some dungeons, leveling up to 58, so we can continue this series with the time being. Uh, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!